President, Dr. William Cunningham, yes. University of Texas. President, hello there. Nice to see you. Proud to see you. Thank you very much. You know it's been tough times. We're very proud of you. Thank you. Appreciate that. We have. Let's get everybody else. Jenny Crum, University of Texas. Yeah, good Thanks. to see you. Thanks so much for having me. We appreciate it. Great pleasure. Jenny Crum. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Very nice to meet you. I'm Coach Arroyo. I know. Nice to see you. Thank you, Mr. 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 President. Mr. I'm Swain. I'm Swain, Swain, President of the University of Boston. Well, it's an honor to be here. Well, I'm honored to have you. I hear young people are already gathered out there. They're already gathered. Mr. Mm -hmm. President, we have a presentation. I know this has never happened to you in the White House, but this is a book that James Michener has written on Texas. And uh, it is autographed by the team and signed by the TV and also signed by uh, Jim Michener for the year as well. It's well, a limited edition book on Texas. And, uh, well, well, we'd like you to have it. Thank you very much. Well, I know you got a lot of things to do, but. Yes, but I don't mind telling you, I'm, uh, and I'm not just saying this for the occasion. I'm, I've been a book lover all my life. Well, we hope you'll get some pleasure out of it. I certainly will. Thank you very much. Yes. Mr. Thomas, President, we have a small award we'd like to give you and make you, we would be proud to have you an honorary Louisville Cardinal. <laughs> Thank you very much. The Cardinal fans, that. you know, are the best in the world, so we're glad to have you as one of them. <laughs> Well, that makes up for all the times when I was a sports announcer broadcasting Major League Baseball. And every time the Chicago Cubs, whom I broadcast, played the Cardinals, I would then get mail from the Cardinal calling me a Cub fan. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have proof. Now you can, yes. now you can be a Cardinal fan and rest Thank you easy. very much. Mr. President, I think we better do a, a formal photo with each school for the hometown newspaper. So since you have that in your hand, why don't we do uh, the University of Louisville right. first? And now the University of Texas. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, I guess we're ready to go to the Rose Garden now. Yeah, Fred? Fred? Right this way with the torches. I like your sign. It can be done. I should have one of those at my desk, too. <laughs> <laughs> It must be done. <laughs> well, let's thank you, and I look forward to meeting those young people here. They're, uh, they're quiet. They are very excited. Thank you. 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 Thank you
former prime minister of uh, Libya the other night on the tube. He sounded like a fairly reasonable person hoping all this would develop. He is. We're in touch with him through the media. Where is he in France now? Or? Uh, I'm not sure his exact location. One of the yeah. opposition leaders is actually here in town right now. That we don't want to He's in France, he won't be able to fly back. <laughs> yeah. How about that for now? Mm -hmm. France, they're great. Well, they're really in trouble out of the country, aren't they, Pete? Well, I just made a couple of calls on, on random islands in my state. The first thing the citizen said was, boy, isn't that France a great, great friend of ours? <laughs> they, they were very angry, I'm nice. sure. Let me ask you, what, if, if, if the organized military wins, are they our friends? Yes. They're very, they're very pro American. Never been touched. That's why he's got his own government. Uh, he took over the coup, you know. And the military is very and you see these young guys running around with him and his guards with his yeah. machine yeah. guns and yeah. 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 they look like they're really a ragtag operation. Huh? They are, but they're uh, they're, they're well armed. And you see, normally the regular troops don't have ammunition, but because of yeah. Awesome array.
Hi, Mr. President. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Mr. President, good to see you. Getting a whole Oklahoma delegation here today. <laughs> That's both barrels. Well, once you know, you have a lot of uh, people in the state of Oklahoma that are quite proud of the way you've uh, handled the well, terrorist activity. Well, appreciate that. Sure. I think we better get over here. All right. Good. Sit down. I know we're going to. On the energy, and he proposed, brought your uh, proposal for natural gas deregulation for it, and that's something that you and I have mentioned once I before. Know. Uh, he did a good job. You've got a, a pretty decent proposal, and, and we're going to work hard to see if we can't get that passed this well, year. I'm sure in favor of that. Decontrolling oil worked all right. <laughs> sure did. Sure did. It saved consumers some money decontrolling oil. I think we can save some money for everybody, help the industry at yeah. the same time, get all these regulations out of the way. Yeah. Uh, it would help. And our industry, as you know, oil and gas industry is, is hurting and hurting bad. And, there are several things can be done, and deregulation of natural gas is, is one of them, and we'd like to see that done. We'd also like to see us repeal the windfall profits tax. That's, we need to get rid of that, and now is the time to get you rid of the, the prices so low. Yeah. Even though they're not collecting any revenue from that right now, they're starting to do all the paperwork. The producers still have to do all the paperwork for the windfall profits, even though they're not collecting the revenue. Can you go? That's something to look at. Good to see you. I'm very proud of you. As always, you know, my constituents are too. We shot 50 something of them, one time 84, another time. Thank you very much. And I think you've uh, demonstrated uh, what the terrorists had to see that uh, we won't just let it happen without uh, something emphatic to deter them. And uh, that was the principal lesson of it. And you led us in that, you're a leader. And, uh, and I do have a couple of things to do. Okay, thank you. I've been gone for a couple of days. Uh, I'm glad she's back. I bet you kind of rattle around up there when you're all alone. Yes, sir. I miss my wife. She was down at a wedding for a few days. The last time I met her, the DAR was here the other night. Thank you. Spoke to him in 84. Up. I thought they could all see through those little bushes up there. Yeah. I showed it to them. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never been in the moment. The truth is, I've heard it. Well, thank you for having us in, Mr. Well, President. Listen, thank you for all these years of uh, what you have done for us. Well, I well, certainly appreciate it. And I can tell you, I can speak an unbiased opinion now since I don't work here. Everybody's so happy that what we did. Well, <laughs> Libya, that 100% back, and just makes me proud. I can really say it without any reservations well, thank for the you. American people. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. Thank you for having us. This is my son, Greg. Craig Jones. And this is my son, Douglas. And he's uh, maybe a paper airplane for you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. This is my daughter, Lord Mary. Hi, good to meet you. Thank oh. you for seeing us today. Hi. Good to see you. Hi, Mr. President. Hello, Mr. President. Ellen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good. Why don't we have a family picture here, a group? Well, okay. thank you, Mr. President. Louis, why don't you come right toward me? <laughs> okay, now. Is that right? Mine's yeah, that's fine. I'll look right this way. Oh. Yeah. Look at this one. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank you for my F-111. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a few items here. Um, that is for you. Well, thank you, Mr. President. And a bookmark for your wife. Oh, that's real nice. Uh, good wishes. She's got uh, shingles on her face. Oh, that's a shame. Her eyes closed off. She just wanted to make it. Oh, and that's wow. a pen. Thank you. Thank you so much. And tie bombs. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Goodness. And you haven't left out. 
<laughs> oh, look, you get the biggest tray. In here is a jar with that seal engraved on it. And it's filled with jelly beans. Oh, just boy. because somebody may decide that you shouldn't open that up before you get home. Well, there's a little sample of what's inside. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so proud, Mr. President. Thank you. What do you say, Douglas? Look up. Thank you. Well, thank you. Well, again, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. It's certainly been a privilege serving under you. And I didn't want to leave, but I thought maybe, well, give me a few years for my wife and everything yeah. since she's right. been sick and everything. So we kind of want to stick around with you, but I thought I'd stick well, around with my wife. Sure you Mr. Did. President, it's certainly been a privilege being under your direction, and our country's going great. And may I be out of order for a minute? Ever since I've seen this <laughs> Newt Rockney story and when we went to the Gipner, I, I just cried when I saw that. <laughs> it's really been a privilege to meet the Gipper. And I tell you, the Gipper's not going, not going to go wrong. Everybody's full of Gipper, and everything the Gipper does is going to be just right. Well, That's exactly how we feel. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, since you like the Gipper so much, I have to tell you that you know, we, we had a lot of stories about him when we were making I used to be a sports announcer. Yes, I told sir. The story that was later made in that picture, I told that on the air when I was a sports announcer. <laughs> but there were some little stories we didn't think might fit the picture. Like one day, end of the first half, and Notre Dame was a point behind, and Rockney was really eating the team out for what they hadn't done and so forth, and Gip was standing over there kind of against the door, and Rock all of a sudden came over to him and started in on him. And he said, Gip, you in. And Gip said, Rock. I want to win this game more than you do. I got $140 bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask one question? What was that pitch you threw opening day? Was that a curveball or a changeup? Well, down there, oh, in Baltimore. <laughs> well, the first one was a wide miss. Because I'll tell you what happened. All of the press, and it wasn't our White House press, it was, and the photographers just ganged in like a. It was just a narrow passage didn't to get the catcher. Me. And then they were clear they're leaning over his shoulders and, and everything. And, I, and he saw what was bothering me. So he stood up and put his glove clear, his mitt clear up in the air. Well, then when I turned and tried to aim at that mitt, I missed it about two or three feet. <laughs> he had to go get it. Well, then the next time I thought, I don't care if I hit one of the photographers. <laughs> and I just threw a fastball strike. <laughs> Uh, that's something. <laughs> Mr. President, thank, thank you again. But I want to tell you, I've been really enjoying the movies. Uh, Santa Fe, <laughs> and she wore a yellow ribbon. I saw those last couple of days on my uh, cable TV. Well, I really enjoy them. <laughs> and I just want to tell you, you've been my national hero ever since. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thanksgiving, thank you Mr. President. Much. Thank you. Yes, thank sir. You. Thank you all. And our country's really going terrific. Thank you, thank you Mr. President. Thank you again for having us. Where have you been? I'm probably going to Carlton. You're right. It's Carlton. Well. I've got um, your birthday brunch that Mr. George did to you. Well, that's nice. Well, that's good to see you. Hmm? I just want to tell you it's been a very great honor and privilege serving you. And it's going to be a time in my well, life that I'll always remember and look upon fondly. Well, listen, I appreciate very much all that you did. And I wish you well. Here's a little souvenir, so you Well, thank you very much. And I just want to tell you, as far as the movie is concerned, it's about time we have a leader who shows a little muscle behind our mouth. I think we're right on target. Thank you. Thank you. Why don't we get a nice photo of this? I'm never nervous, and here I am. I'm absolutely <laughs> quaking in my boots. Thank you. You're going to look toward me, don't look toward them. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.